Hello and welcome back to IT Security Labs and today we are completing day 18 of the advent of the Cyber Challenge. This is a 25 day challenge where we are learning information security skills from Try Hack Me right before Christmas and day 18 is what we are doing. It looks like we'll be learning about Docker and Docker containers and how they're used. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure to start your attack box and once the attack box is started, I read through most of these here. Uh, today's learning objective is we're going to be covering the basics of container images and AWS Elastic Container Registry, which is an online registry for public and private containers images. So we'll be using those. We'll also learn how to use, how to retrieve container images from on online registry like this one and inspect the elements of the container image to identify potential security issues. So that's our goal. First, once we sign into the attack box, we're being asked to run Docker images. If you are not using the Try Hack Me machine uh, or if you don't have the premium, please follow these instructions here to set up your own. They are very simple. For now, to make it easy for us, I'm just going to use the Try Hack Me machine and I'll run Docker images. So open the terminal in the attack box. So we can say Docker images see if we can list and as you can see here these are the docker images that are here already locally so if you're not using try me these might not be there or oh, there is a cyber chef empire some tools that are running in docker images all right the tag here sometimes it says latest because it's the latest one or you can put your own tags if you want and you can also use ids then we have the Grinch enterprise attack infrastructure here all right, so let's pull down the Grinch Enterprise Docker image. This is the image that we'll be um, trying to investigate. So the Grinch has attacked us, and we found out this is the way they keep their images, which is in AWS. So we're going to pull that, their image down and see if we can interrogate that image to find more information. So we just run the Docker pool. So Docker pool will reach out to the AWS place where they're keeping the image. The image is called Grinch. AOC latest so it should show up here when we run docker images after we pull it All right, so we pulled the image. Let's rerun docker images again. We should see that image show up here All right, so to get into this image we can actually just run the docker run command and if we run docker run minus minus it stands for interactive terminal so this is going to be an interactive terminal for this image and we'll run into a terminal sometimes you can specify minus it bin bash or bin search if if you know which environment you want to be in pwd we're in as new user which is okay what permissions do i have i'm just new user i'm not part of any special groups all right another spoiler here says let's print some environment variables and environment variables are set in Linux to store some information. In this case, also point to the path. Our path is that. And we happen to run into an API key, which is not ideal. We shouldn't do this. All right, so going to our questions, what command will list the images stored in your... Okay, so that's Docker images. All right. What command will allow you to save a Docker image as a tar archive? So to save the container, we can run docker save, then the output minus all aoc.tar, then the name of the image. So let's actually make the directory and do that right now. Let's exit. All right, so it's an empty directory. Let's just go ahead and save the image as a tar, then answer the question. So it's docker save. Uh, I think they want this. But for now, let's save it as a tar without the minus O, I guess. All right. What is the name of the file, including file extensions for the configuration repository tags and layer hashes stored in the container image? All right, first, we need to unpack it. So we're given all the instructions that we need. Then we can start inspecting the build that, that happened. So if I do an ls, now I'm seeing some things. We have the tar file, 
and the manifest.json. I think that's the one we need to interact with. All right. What is the key token value found in the, in the bonus challenge? Let's do an ls. So if you cd into that directory, an ls. So we do, do have the layer.tar and then the json. You can use the tar minus x vf for extracting. Now we see that we have this. This is the file that we need. The one in the root here. Let's get that file and grab for a token. And I see the token value is this. That looks like the same thing. Submit. And we got it done. All right, so the interesting thing here was making sure that we understand how a Docker image was built. In this case, we found out that they used a the public repository, this one. And reading more about that repository talks about setting up a token. And here is more information about it. So if you like this, please like and subscribe. I will be finishing this for sure. Otherwise, I will see you next time.